guys Gaston here welcome to another video today I'm bringing you as I told you last week when you guys requested for the how to clean the one-handed backhand the same as I did in the forehand um, I'm gonna do today the one-handed backhand I'm gonna give you also six drills okay that you can do they're gonna be amazing some of them are a little close to what you see on the forehand some of them are a little different okay because the, the one-handed backhand maybe uh, gives you a little gap to work on some different things and one thing that I wanted to clarify that a lot of people is asking about the grip and they're like what do you think is the best grip I'm gonna tell you what is the best grip for me and what I learned when I was uh, six seven years old and how my coach uh, showed me this and it's actually uh, you know my, my coach the one that taught me when I was uh, six seven years old he worked many years in Italy when Pete Sampras and Bjorn Borg were junior players and uh, he also worked many years in Boletieri uh, in IMG in Miami so the way he did it is like you're gonna take the racket in front of you okay strings pointing forward it's not lean okay you can see you're gonna put your hand right in front okay over the grip and you're gonna close it so the way it is is that your knuckles have to be aligned with the strings and everything has to be pointing forward you see knuckles pointing forward the strings pointing forward the same thing you can see here on the side knuckles pointing forward if you put it against the wall everything is gonna be facing the wall this is the way he uh, he showed it to me I mean I was six seven probably uh, it was amazing this is the way I remember it and I, I always show it to everybody because for me it was really effective one of the things that I really 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 like um, you know you can give so many uh, formal names to things in everything but I think the better and the simpler you make things uh, and you always have to find a way for people to understand uh, so I mean I, I love it Every, I, everybody when somebody asks me what is the the best grip for you I show this and why I like this is because from here if you can see you can manage to play every different angle of the racket maybe if you play more here you're more you're more locked you see you cannot close the face but from here I can get in and take let me show here I can get in and take the ball on the right flat I can get in and at the same time close the strings I can get from under the ball closing the strings I can get up here flatter closer open everything you can manage it from here with the with the, the movement you have on your wrist so yeah now we go to the to the topic of the video of today you have the grip now now we go to the first exercise for the first one what you're gonna do is set up okay sideways just if you was gonna you gonna hit the ball take the racket same thing that we did in the forehand okay if you haven't seen the video click the description okay I leave you the link in the description you can you can check it out it's amazing we had we're gonna have position one two three the point of impact and then from that is the follow-through so again same thing one two three one two three and then the way you go to a point of impact it's up to you you can go more close you can go flatter what matters here is that you actually get to see uh, the the different stages and how you're gonna loop okay from under the ball same thing am I gonna hit always from here straight to the ball if you want to hit the ball flat you're gonna go from here straight to the ball if you want to put more spin of course from one two then you're gonna create this uh, this uh, this loop down here okay pointing with the tip of the racket down to then come from from under the ball so that will be exercise number one okay one two three one two three here try to move only okay since it's the first one try to only move your hands don't don't get too involved with the legs we're gonna see that on the other ones all right so that's the first one exercise number two now you're gonna go instead of from coming all the way from behind you're only gonna work on the from the point of impact and forward one thing that it's it's really important and you might see different in many players depending uh the surface they're playing if after they follow through they break all this uh the wrist okay trying to create uh, to put more spin on the ball or if after here they go up just up with the racket flatter i have actually a video talking about that the difference between flat and with a spin i will also leave the link uh here in the description you might check it out so I'm just gonna do it the way I do it, which is putting a spin on the ball. So from here, okay, point of impact in front of me. You're gonna see, you can see the racket there in front of me for the point of impact. I'm gonna show it uh, frontal to the camera. From here, okay, there, 
you're just gonna follow control follow control follow and control all right you're gonna do it for 15 20 times this one is gonna start to get a little more your your forearm uh, a little more tight which is good what you want to work there is that you want to start to feel conscious and comfortable with the ball okay hitting in front which is the perfect spot to hit not uh, not too in front or not um, on the line okay inside of your body okay the line of your body you want it to have it in front so from there you're just gonna start to okay this pull to the follow through okay so let's go to the third one so drill number three for this one I'm not gonna use the racket I'm gonna use the elastic band you're gonna set up okay in the same pose that we use it for the forehand but this time you're gonna have it here okay for the backhand what you're gonna do is trying to get in with the post okay on your same line trying to from there okay you can align it with your left leg from there push forward as much as you can okay as much as you can but when you when you're coming back just hold it okay don't let it just go back and forth without control just focus it focus on taking it to impact and then recovery taking it to impact and then recovering and you can see that here I'm starting to put a lot more uh, legs committing into the into the exercise okay a little more rotation because now you're starting to create this motion of the entire body pushing and not only arm because I see that mistake a lot where players um, where players start to push too much only they get here they prepare and they just play with the arm okay remember it's it's a whole motion of rotation that you are hitting okay hitting with your hips to then rotate and fall it's not only the work of the arm so in this one okay the number three with the elastic band you start to put a lot more the work in so the exercise number four we're not gonna use racket we're not gonna use elastic band we're gonna use balls so now going more into a follow-through because in the number three with the band we were stopping at the limit of the band now you're gonna start to put yes a lot more into the real um, real hitting okay the real one-handed but what I want here and one thing that I like to see a lot on one-handed backhands it's you know to having a relaxed a relaxed motion and not a tense body okay so when you do this focus it on having a relaxed movement and what you're gonna do actually is throwing the ball okay forward now it's very important that when you prepare and you do the entire loop and you let the ball go you see that how I'm grabbing the ball okay I'm not just with my fingers I'm having it with the entire hand when you throw the ball try to make it straight to you this is very important because if you can recognize the moment and how you have to throw the ball and control it to go forward it's gonna be the same thing of controlling the point of impact at the right moment that you have to do it and not a little and not here or not there okay always adjusting and you can you can also make it with a couple of steps okay one two steps throw the ball and then control the follow through and make sure you do a, a relaxed moment when you follow okay so i'm gonna throw four here throw forward all right come back here throw forward all right come back here throw forward come back here throw forward come back so that's number four that is gonna give you a lot more already into the real shot into the, the entire motion but now the ball is gonna give you um, the right timing for you to know the moment that you have to hit the ball okay the moment of the impact which would be the moment that you throw the ball all right exercise number five and we're gonna get into the end now you're gonna do the entire motion before getting into the hitting only with the racket but just like we did in the forehand you're gonna recognize and mark the point of impact going a little slower and then going with the follow through all right so it would be something like this you come forward hit and then follow through all right here one two three and follow all right here one two three and follow control the point of impact follow all right make that little stop there that is gonna give you the momentum and believe me when you get to hit if you are really used to these movements when you actually play and hitting the ball I do it when I play I do it when I hit and I try to control always the moment that I'm gonna hit I feel 
even though I'm not doing it because at the moment you're exploding into the ball, I feel in my mind that I'm having that momentum and I'm having a good impact on the ball, which is gonna make me feel more comfortable and more confident, okay, on my shot. All right, exercise number six, we got until the end. Now in this one, you're gonna commit the entire shot here. And again, just give the time to this exercise that they deserve. I said it when I made the forehand video, and I'm gonna set it along the entire uh, series because I'm gonna do the uh, slice, uh, you know, backhand slice, serve with slice, everything. Please give the attention that these exercises require. Okay, every for at least six, seven years, when I was getting to train, okay, to, to my club and to start to, to do my practice, I would get before into the court, get balls from the basket and I start to hit, okay, on my own, just maybe 10, 20 balls with each shot to start to feel because it's something that helped me a lot mentally to clean always my shots and to feel confident and not getting into a training and then feeling that, oh, I'm not feeling the forehand, I'm not feeling the backhand. I was already, my mindset was already strong on that point of always feeling good on my shots. Okay, so number six, what you're gonna do, entire shot here, worry a little more on the acceleration, try to come slower and do the, the full explosion from two forward with a go follow through. All right, so I recommend you throw the ball higher so you can let it bounce and you can go uh, into it, okay, if you throw it too low, the ball is gonna fall and you're not gonna have time to hit it. So, throws it forward, hit, all right? You see that I'm not hitting, I'm falling. Here, you just wanna clean the technique. You wanna feel the point of impact in front, all right? Here. All right. I'm gonna show you now two balls from the side so you can see the point of impact in front. All right guys, so there you have the six drills that you can do. Like I always say, there are so many more with different materials that I probably will be doing in the future. But what I want here is to give you six uh, good ones that you can make only with a racket, a tennis ball, an elastic band that you probably have everywhere. Again, I have tennis courts in front of me. I'm doing it out here. They're actually uh, tennis courts with no net, okay? They're not using them now. So I do it out here so you can see that you can do this anywhere in a park, okay? Whatever you are, you can train this. Watch out when you hit the balls, don't hit anybody. Um, so yeah, those are the drills. I hope you guys really like it. Leave me your comment which, with which other exercise, which other uh, video you'd like to see. All right, I always like to interact with everybody. You can see that I take, I really take time to interact. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you didn't. Share this video with your friends if you think uh, it's gonna be helpful. That was it for today, guys. Thank you and see you in the next one.